We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the, the number one station for independent artists. I'm cool like that. I'm cool. Number one station for independent artists. Hey, ho! Hey, ho! Hey. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the infamous Luminary Sounds. That's right. With Junior Leto, Freshwater, Great, and Missy Toxin. So y'all don't do it with me no more? Uh, you see, no, you see what they you, do? You taking it over. He just it points. Is, I just Come point on, to you man. What it is, what it is. We've got an <laughs> exciting show today. Yes, right. That's oh, right. yeah. The wonderful. The amazing. <laughs> Sophia Galate <laughs> is in the building. Oh. Yeah, you know, we, we have one fan out there that is hot. Who's that? He's we do. hot. He's out here. He's very oh, upset. Yeah, where is he? He, he is in uh, Hitting Peru. us in the gram and stuff. He's, he's traveling in, the world. Okay, well, yes. he's, he's traveling the world and he's still mad. So does he, how do you guys know him? Um, We he had won. him on, he won in the, uh, like a he hat, won, right? Yes, yeah. he, he was a contest winner. Contest winner and he just became like a really good fan of the uh of the show, of the show became yeah. family. Really cool. Really and, cool. Yeah, and I'll sign this sticker for him. No, 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 Aww. no. You, you can't sign that sticker for. Him. What, what else you, you got? Well, you you got something over there? Uh, no, 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 no. We need you. We need you. We need you to sign. We need you to sign that. That's for Adam. Oh, yeah. that's for Adam. That, that's, I for Adam. that's for us. No, 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 so no. That's, that's for Adam. <laughs> Hey, where should I sign? Okay, everyone. Okay. You have to say to Adam. All of our listeners who may not know what's going on. Junior pulled out a poster of Sophia for her to sign for Adam. That's he right. That's what we do. The number one fan in Oxnard. <laughs> <laughs> the number one fan. Actually, uh, Missy and I, we were at his house and having a great time. Mm-hmm. And you, you came. That's right. Didn't you come up? Didn't she come up? Sophie Glatte? Yeah, of she course. Came up of at course. At the party. So, yeah. It's great. Look at this. We're happy you're here. Oh, I was like, my okay, heart, okay. My heart no, 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 racing. no, no. Well, this, okay. this one is for luminary sounds. Yes, and you got to get used to this again. Luminary, you are a star. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, like I had posters at my what, show one time, and I like signed all them. I was like, wait, which, which is gonna be my signature? exactly? But I you got to make practice it look that. Like so, so why you, why you uh, sign to luminary sounds? That's right. Let's talk about Sophia Galati. Let's do that. Well, I want to remind the listeners that the last time she was on was last February. That's correct. And since yes. then, you have gone on like this little mini world tour. <laughs> I know, it's actually right? so cool that I was here at the beginning of the year before, like really before the world like right opened. So yeah. That, like right. all these things happened. And That's right. Now we're here at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I have to think about what I'm gonna. Write well, go ahead, take your time. We'll take your time. Yeah, oh, so take your time. let's get into it. So, uh, you know, <laughs> all the pressures on you. I now. <laughs> I discovered you off of um, Spotify's list. What is it like a year? Maybe now. I don't know how long it's been. And obviously, I love the music. We did the the sip to your light it up to you know. Wait, how did you body yaddy yaddy? You got to remember body yaah yaah. Like you're right. right. algorithm. Well, no, you were on the list for like a um, like a like a rap caviar, but not rap. Right. It know. was it so, was. No, uh, it was on Apple Music. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Not Apple. It was Spotify. Oh. It was. It was Spotify. It was. It was sort of like the uh, like list a n- of new artists, uh, new or? artists up and coming people we should listen to because oh, we like listen to certain yeah, yeah, suggestions. Yeah. Spotify. There you go. The thing is, even go. when my album came out, I was playlisted on Apple and Title, but Spotify, not anything editorial, but the Spotify suggested like the algorithm. Yeah. Like, yeah. I am on so many people's like Discover Weekly and like stuff like that. That is cool That's though. More that than, is like, very cool. No, not editorial, but like, yeah. A now, lot have of you been on the editorial just... playlist for Spotify? Uh, any editorial playlist? Yeah, yeah. Like when my project came out, it was mostly Title and Apple, and then now I've been on Spotify as well for like some of my recent like remixes or like live stuff. So your numbers are just going crazy. Yeah, but uh, yes, that's definitely helpful, but. I, like, uh, my TikTok moment that happened after my project came out last year was probably, like, the most thing that helped me. <laughs> go ahead, Fresh. There we go. There we go. I like, did I no. not talk about this last time? No, no, no. I mean, we have t- we talked about so much with you last time. Yeah. Um, of course, Missy mentioned the tour you just came from and you just went on. Talk to us about some of the favorite cities, some of the places you went to, just all of that. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, that performing live is my favorite thing ever. And I feel like I used to perform in high school. So I have this like muscle memory of performing when I was younger because I took time off of singing after college. 
for years until I found my way back into being an artist. Thank God. So thank, thank God. You, right? I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, this is so much harder, but it's so like freeing. It's like so relieving. Right. And thank so, God for the listeners, you know, because yeah. we, would, we love your music. Yay. Thank you guys so much. No, for sure. Um, so LA and Chicago are our home to me. So those are always amazing places to, per- mm-hmm. to perform. There's always um, Chicago was super fun. Shout out to Chicago. Yeah. Shot town. Um, they're all great in their own way. Chicago was super fun because it was my first headline. I mean, those were all my first headline shows. Yeah. Um, I ended up, I played, the musicians that played with me are like some of the best musicians in Chicago. Um, like Nico Segal, Peter Cottontail. They're all yeah. like, and the Juju Exchange, they're all amazing and they're really fun to perform with and the crowd was lit people were there you some, go a little bit too lit at moments but <laughs> the energy was, was it like, scary no just sometimes like people in the back were like talking too loud and i'm like um, oh. i'm about to sing a really i heard that emotional yeah. ballad called killing me softly mm. so please be quiet um <laughs> but there's often times i don't really tell people to be quiet because i don't want to like affect the moment yeah mm-hmm. so chicago was just really energetic New York was kind of my favorite show because there you go. I it's very bold for like a very new artist at my level to do a headline show in New York that early on. What yeah. venue in New York, if you don't mind? The Sultan me. Room. It's in All Brooklyn. Right. And yep. It's so my vibe. It's okay. so like you've been seductive, there before. No, never like been. Sultry. Never been. It has this really cool like big. You probably saw photos of it. I think, but like mm-hmm. the screen I did. behind is like Huge. this crazy yeah. like light situation. Mm-hmm. And so. New York was really stressful to put together. Um, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, who? Like Chicago, I knew was going to sell out. I knew LA was going to sell out. New York, I was like, who knows me in New York? Even though I have friends Mm -hmm. there and I have, I knew I had some diehard fans there, but I was still just like nervous. The band that I hired kept like falling through, like canceling. I I was going to ask you that too. So I brought Mm -hmm. my drummer from LA because it's really nerve wracking to play with people who don't, have never played with you before right. however i've learned so much from playing with different musicians in every city and each arrangement has been a little bit different in each city which is really fun but and so i end up i like wanted to cancel the new york show i was like oh my Aww. god these people keep canceling on me i don't know who's going to show up blah, blah blah but i knew that if i had my drummer like he would like help me sort the rest of it that was smart his name is greg and he's a shout he's out to greg nice. shout out to greg i owe him my whole life <laughs> so um I ended, but the and the thing is, the band who I ended up hiring was like amazing, like New York jazz players. They're incredible. And so you we were surprised by how good they I were. I was like, they sh- showed up to rehearsal. They already knew everything. Like we just worked on the arrangements, and the show ended up being full. The audience was so attentive, listening, and I really had like mostly fans there. Whereas like L.A., that sounds like the New crowd York. was like people that I knew. Yeah, Chicago, pretty much as well. These were like real fans, like singing the words and stuff, and it was like really fun. And New York mm-hmm. is just different yeah know, it's, it's, it's magical one thing i will say about you know northeast they are fans of underground and just up and coming artists for sure yeah so they show a lot of love it's a different type of listener for sure definitely and it was definitely. cool because a lot of these fans that were there actually found me on tiktok mm-hmm. and i talked to all my fans like i always respond to everyone in the dm so then i knew who was going to show up Fun. so by the time mm-hmm. i met everyone after I recognized them and they yeah. like felt like they knew me. So oh, that yeah, was like a course. special thing. And then obviously London was like super cool. That was a really, I'm a very proud of that goal that I accomplished yeah. because earlier this year, just because like the neo soul, like jazz scene in London is super hip. Mm-hmm. I knew that my sound like resonated there. And actually London has been my top listening city on Spotify okay. for like the whole year. I saw that. I yeah. saw someone on uh, your actual story, I think was from London and they would kind of, took a screenshot and you kind of like wrote a message to them were, oh. they, were they from london or were they from it was just recently she, she's like so a busy, couple of days ago <laughs> yeah it was a no, couple no. of days ago i'm a star there's a lot of people yeah there was there was <laughs> someone who put their um most listened to oh, oh, you yeah, know what yeah, i'm talking yeah. about oh, okay, and, and your you. name was on the list along with like yes that's different right you artists. did you put and yeah. i think oh, they yeah, were from like, london spotify rap yes yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah probably from their rap that's what it was seeing that i think they were from london yeah somebody yesterday's top artists were beyonce Jojo, uh, that's the one. SZA, Bruno Mars, and, and me. Or something. I'm like, yes. That yes. is so awesome. Lit. That's that, the that, one. That is lit. I have a question for you. Um, did you learn a lot when you were helping other artists before you got to for sure. where you are now? Mm-hmm. And, like, and what I, did you learn from that that you apply to your own? Like, yeah, but I'm gonna steal some of that. So, 
the like definitely like the business side of it for sure being an artist no because you're like so emotional in your mind but I, my first job in the industry i worked at a touring agency mm-hmm. so i know so well how like all the steps and intricacies of like booking a show because there's a lot of stuff that goes on with that so i can handle a lot of that on my own um i do have some agents who help me book shows as well but so definitely the touring side i really know a lot of um i think it's more of there's obviously stuff about like putting out music that I'd never done before because a lot of the artists that I managed were mostly DJs and stuff like that. But just like a typical like rollout, like roll, like putting out music and stuff like that. But I think really just like kind of like the work ethic and like handling the workload and like efficiency of stuff. And I obviously have connections in the industry through that. So that's helpful. Do you feel like you need a manager at some point? Because, you know, you, you're kind of booking some of the things on your own. Yeah, so I've been like self-managing for the most mm-hmm. part. I do have a creative team who like, my homegirls who like really helped me with a lot of the creative and you know stuff like that but day-to-day and like logistical stuff i handle which i'm like proud of myself for being able to handle all of it and like there's a certain quickness that i'm able to do it but it does okay. take away a lot of time from like creating like i don't spend that much time writing music because i'm doing all this other stuff <laughs> of course but i think I'd, i'm i'm looking for somebody not to handle that stuff but just to like elevate me in spaces that i'm currently not in Ah. like i don't like i need mm. people to talk about me in rooms that i'm not in you know I, and I feel like i'm the only one doing that for me right now so it's like the day-to-day stuff yeah i'm not gonna waste my time having someone else do that like that I executive need somebody, type. yeah exactly yeah. would you uh ever sign to a, a label for sure okay all right, all right. Mm. um i'm not opposed to that and i think now that like artists have mm. awareness of label deals yeah and just being able to like renegotiate your contract and stuff like that and just being aware of that but no i think you know, for me, I I don't really have that much like artist development that I need to do. Like, I know who I am. I know the business. I know the type of music yeah, I want to make. Yeah. I know what I am. I just need somebody to elevate it. I just need like visibility help and like connections with like other artists and stuff well, like that. Well, it's coming. For sure. It's coming. I've done a lot in a year and I yep. need to be, yeah. I'm proud of that for mm-hmm. sure. I, I have for a sure. question before we go on break. Are you secretly working on new music that you're kind of like stashing away whenever you want to drop again? I mean... Not, nothing's in secret like i'm now like merging into like writing mode so this oh. all this whole year Uh-oh. i've been i mean like i'm gonna get busy. great Uh-oh. that i like stretched my roll out for a year like yeah. dropped a live album i mean you know and like first of all the live is just the I best love, thing like, ever it, no it yeah. really it really is <laughs> It really is the best thing ever. And I'm not just like, it's no cap. Mm -hmm. Um, I love how you have the live instrument, the instrumentation, and then you have the performance. But I'm like, man, that's so dope. So it's too good. I wish the live had had a bigger moment because I'm like, people don't even know like this is Uh, where it's at. It sounds so good. And you could tell you're definitely in your zone when you're on stage. You can tell that Mm -hmm. that's where you're getting lost at. Yeah. We'll we'll talk about the live more because I want to talk about the band and just like how it came about. Absolutely. Well, what we're going to do now is, of course, this is Sophia Galate hour. So we're going to get into some of your live music here. And um, we're definitely going to talk a lot more about the, the live. But here we go. We're going to get into some Sophia. Sophia. 